The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, excuse me, present and or future. And hopefully golf fans enjoy the holiday weekend. And the tour continues today at Harbor Town. Because that's what someone asked for. And so by God, we do take requests once in a while. Hi, my name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to the program for this last day of November. 20 the 22th. And it's called the Scotch Guard Classic. If you've ever watched the Heritage at Harbor Town, all the officials wear uh, the country club or wherever at Harbor Town all wear red tartan plaid stuff. And so Scotch Guard is what it reminded me of. And so that's where we are. I really should have named this the Limbo Tournament because this course is playing ridiculously easy. For the best 137 golfers of all time. I'm only one shot above the cut line. At four under. And I'll show you why. Because some idiot put it in the water on the 16th or 17th tee. And double bogey. So this course is going to score a lot. Uh, I believe the lead as we come on the air is 13 under par. It is. Harry Varden leads Rory McIlroy and Ernie Hells by three shots. Now, one of the disadvantages of being laid out on Thursday, I was group number 40 yesterday, is that I'm out very early today. My group is three, is the seventh group out. So if I somehow struggle today, what the cut says now, again, I'm on the right side of it at four under par. Is it necessarily what it's going to be in about 45 minutes to an hour? I'm really going to have to go out and shoot. To par 71 here, three par fives. I'm going to have to pretty much go out again and shoot a 67 just to make the cut. So my target is eight under par. I'm playing with Steve Elkington. And Master is a new and open champion, Sandy Lyle. And so with all that, let's get right to it. It's time for some golf right here on Retro Sports Network. Again, why and am I not? Oh yeah, I got me over here. There. I forgot this one's got some strings. This I gotta redo these screens here for exploit. All right, so the leaderboard: Harry Varden at thirteen under, Roy McIlroy and Ernie Els at ten under on the course. James Braid, George Archer. George Archer might be the most unappreciated golfer of all time. My goodness. Jamie Donaldson, Gabe Brewer, Arnold Palmer, Greg Norman, Gary Player, all at eight under. But right now they're chasing Harry Varden. Steve Elkington on the tee. Oh, there's wind today. So off this first tee, you are ball is losing five yards and going five yards left to right. He's got a driver. Yeah, he's in good shape. Pin on the back left. 304. Nothing with the core, so it's all there. Normal conditions, normal fairways, normal greens. PGA rough, and it's still not keeping down the score. So we'll just go right at this with a driver. A controlled driver, though. I don't need to bomb it into submission. <laughs> Midlife crisis, how are you? He's on a 13 month streak. John's been doing this for 22 months. Wow. I got 128 to the pin for me. Sandy Lyle at 7 under. Oh, I forgot to show you how I screwed up yesterday's round. We'll get to that in a second. Sandy first to play. So far, so good. That's good. We'll have some baseball tomorrow. 96 Yankees. Or at least that era. All right. I just nuked this course. Eighth in fairways, fifth in greens in regulation. A decent time putting. Rainy day in Vermont coming too, Big Dave. John, tell Dave what you were telling me last night. Um, 
I was all fine and dandy. I had a one footer for Eagle on two. So I started off three, four under through five and then played par golf. Got the six under on the par three, 14th. And then on 17. Uh, drove it about 30 yards left. Found the water. My, so that was the tee shot. My third from the penalty drop area got me to within, oh, I think six feet, but I two putted from there. And so what was a very good round, I did birdie 18. I fell to three under and then got it back to four under. This is a very short course, by the way, 69.73 on the card. And so again, kind of a limbo type round yesterday and today. How low can you go? I guess sandwich. Ah, thought I could go with a spinny. Well, look, it held right there. I missed the fair green by about a foot. That'll work. Even Elkington's got a sandwich. And about two inches for birdie. So I got 16 feet for birdie. I did put it on the fringe at the first part of the day. Uh, four and 18, two and nine chance. I'll read this out loud. Uh, oh, John caught the, the football game on replay. You were interested in AFL cards and dice. Every day, player football just released... The 66 AFL for $15. You can download the PDF for the game, all seasons included. Based on the old Vince Lombardi or Fran Tarkenton game. Al's done some stuff with that. All right, birdie to get to five under. Oh, let's blow it six feet past the hole for my first putt of the day. Great. I had 29 putts yesterday. It was not a good day. It works well, by the way, for those older seasons. Lila, 11 feet. Oh, we're going to do this, huh? Six feet for par, 13 and 18 chance. All right. Elkington could sneeze this one in. And he gets to eight under. We're in that morning wave. Par five, second hole, 502 yards. All right, we're going to try to get home in two. I eagled this hole yesterday. Getting five left there. Oh, that's long. 311 yards. Yeah, he should be able to get home. We are driving Miss Daisy. I must be a Chargers fan. They don't have 64 for the AFL and Big Dave's response. Must be a Chargers fan. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, dear. Well, let's see what kind of lie I have in the rough. Sandy hit the fairway. Oh, I've got tree trouble right here in River City. Oh, my goodness, there's not a club that works. John was introduced to tabletop cards and dice with the Vince Lombardi game before Stratomatic. Remember, his brother got it for him. He remembers his brother got it for him in a flea market for five bucks. All right, let's see what I can do with this shot. I'm going to take the chance I can punch this out. The game was way ahead of it. That's what I've, yeah. Al's done some stuff with Fran Tarkington, which is around the same time frame, same base engine. 26 different offensive calls. All right, we're punching this one out with a six iron. Seventy yards with a spinny. Not the start I wanted. I was three under through two holes yesterday. 
or late last night when I was playing half asleep. Now I'm awake, I'm playing like crap. Lyle on in two. 70 yards for my third. Let's go attack this pin. Uh, okay, well, less than 10 feet for Bird. Nice. Elkington is off to the races. He's three under through two holes today. All right, let's try to make one here. 23 out of 36 chance. Seven feet, punting chart one. Okay. Eight shots back, that I, as far as I know. Downwind right to left. 437 yards on the card. Okay, it's time to get on a hot streak here. Driver is a play. This is a Pete Dye course, by the way. So it can be diabolical. All right, we're going to go driver. What? Oh, Uncle Ron ain't playing too well. Back to Lombardi football. Very specific defensive calls that were on the cards with a letter grade cross reference with the offensive call. And. The, quote, Vince Lombardi comprehensive solo defensive play calls. End quote. Not just pass run. Haven't played in 30 years, but you have fond memories of it. Sounds like that was the first game that really was designed for solo play. It is pouring here in Burlington. Oh, dear. Oh. You can get a seven through there, apparently, and that's what we're going to do. Uh. Not bad. Okay, found the green. 35 feet, but from where I was, two putts for par and a hole that I should have been thinking birdie all the way. Spinny shot for Sandy, and that's why this course is playing so easy. Pitching wedge for Elk. Came back to him. 35 feet. Let's not tempt fate too much. Let's take our par. Six one one and got it done. Take my two putt par and sulk to the next tee. You discovered everyday player when Kurt Berglund showed off everyday player baseball. I thought that game engine reminds me of Vince Lombardi football. And lo and behold, yes. So I'm one under through three. Elk is three under through two. Elk is four under through three. My goodness. And Sandy misses the easy birdie putt. D. Scott Howard, how are you? All right. Okay, the par three, fourth hole, playing at even par 200 yards. Misplaces on the right. You're going to get five yards, and it's going to go five yards right. I'm glad you're doing well. Mr. Elkington is in fuego right now. Okay, so 194 will go exactly as it is on the card. Maybe I won't put it in the blankety-blank water again. Too hard. Miss the green. But it's dry. Wow. It's like shooting 
Golf balls into a dartboard on this one. All right, I can putt. We will go for this because I'm frustrated. Not bad, two feet away. Still one under through four for me. Sandy! Oh! And Elk is having himself around if he can make this. Nope, I jinxed him. So for those of you just coming in, Harry Varden leads Ernie Yells by one. And Steve Elkington four under through four by two. Rory Mac Rory's giving up a shot. Seems to be I am the piker of my threesome. On a course that's playing relatively easy. Harry Varden birdies the ninth. Okay, par five, fifth hole. Playing to a stroke average of 435. The stylist. Harry Styles? Yes. My driver and I have not been friends today. Ten yards into the wind. Yesterday I hit this in two. With a three wood and a two iron. Francis, we met. Yeah, you're familiar with his story, right? Beat Harry Varden in Brookline. All right. We put the ball in play. And now I can go after this with a three wood. In fact, I'm the long one out. All right, three wood. Just give this one a wrap. That's fine. Actually, it hit a little hard. But it's on the green. Two putt birdie. Sandy is Sandy. A little short. Pirate Pro in college football is very similar to, to that. I'm being told you have 26 offensive play calls and 14 defensive play calls to choose from. Thanks, Dave. All right. I've heard good things about it. I haven't bought it. Hard to find a lot of your back from the future. How did I play, Jamie? Do I make the cut? There, you know, Anthony for Glory Days College Football, and of course Chris Dole's game for Friday Night Lights. But there are very few decent um, card and dice college football. No spoilers. No, trust me, spoil me. I like being spoiled. Elkington hit a tree. So he's playing his third. Well, I think the gravy train is stopped for Steve here on the fifth. Lyle with a little chip. Got some work to do. We're lagging this one. 41 feet, four out of five pitching char or putting charts. And I'll take it. That's a good putt. All right. Two under through five. I feel a little bit better. Yep. A great book and a great movie, D. Scott Howard. Talking about Francis we met, so I don't need to explain that one. All right. Sandy, uh, 21 and 36. So... Seven of nine. It's a Jerry Ryan putt. I'm chasing these guys as we go to six. 419 yard par four. Losing five, right to left five. Uh, the Francis Wiebent story.
All right, I need to start putting some balls in play here. I don't remember the name of it, but they've done a movie about it. That's as good as you're going to get with a three wood. Hole playing over par at 412. All right, Elk with an eight. The greatest game ever played. Thank you. I wouldn't have pulled that out of my tuchus if you gave me a week. Sandy going with a nine. Oh, I think I'm going to be in between clubs here. So right to left five. Actually, nine is the right club. That's the right club. I'm going to steal some candy here. Five feet. I've got... Boy. I, I, I don't know how far I got with the Pete Dye thing. This is his orig first original course. He's also the one that uh, did Sawgrass amongst others, and, and we're getting to the players. Uh, Jack Nicholas helped with this course, too. Jack's first solo course was um, Bureford Village outside of Columbus, and we'll be there at some point, but Jack had a hand here. All right, five feet. 14 and 18. So, ah, that's a Jerry Ryan putt. Jamie read the book but never saw the movie. That's true. The greatest game of their lives. Book film about the U.S. team at the 1950 World Cup. We, we need all the luck we can get to get past the Dutch on Saturday, by the way. All right. There we go. Three under through six. How low can you go? The par three seventh, one ninety five, five yards downwind, and trees doing their best impression of Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, and Shaquille O'Neal. Ooh, he missed that one right. One ninety six. Go with a low seven. Not on the green, but within range for a birdie nonetheless. I think Elk and I are only a couple feet away from each other. That didn't go in. Wow, what a shot. 15 feet for bird. I have a 13 and 36 chance. Doubles always works, and I'm four under through seven. So I'm feeling my Wheaties this morning. Oh. There are weeks that my Thursday and Friday playing companions and I are going to be pretty not shooting very well the three of us so far 20 are 30 under par through 25 holes on a friday All right 292 i'm losing five right to left five toughest hole today playing at 435 for stroke average not gaining anything I'd, I'll try this a third time. I just don't. I want to put it in play. Got a decent amount of roll, too. 265. They are going to go with three wood. 
if you play this course, if you own this course, three wood, even on this hole, is probably the better club to take off the tee than a driver on most holes. Elkington's not listening to me. He takes a driver. I don't think he's as long. All right, 205. I'm getting five, and it's going right to left five. So 200. Go to the low six. That. Yeah, that works. So we're all on the green at 14 feet. Ooh, it barely made it. All right, 13 and 36. Oh, ugh, four feet left. Easy as cake. How many courses do I own? Someone else asked me that. Was it you before? 25 to 30. I looked at how many courses I'd like to get, and I think I priced about 20. 400 bucks. Okay, it wasn't you. Someone asked me it was. So, 25 to 30, and... I think I'll chip away. Again, there was 20 that they have that I'd like to have. I think this stream is just really well, personally. All right, we all part of the 8th. So we go to the ninth. Oh, oh, look where that pit is. Oh, does that say sucker? Losing five, moving right, left, or moving right at to left at five. Cut past the trees. There we go. I'm gonna take a spinny wedge and hopefully make a one putt. Five iron. No, you take a three wood here. You play that as far down as you can. The wind was blowing the right way. Be tempted to go with the driver. But again, risk-reward, and that's the thing with all Pete Dye's courses. Now, Mike, I saw your thing about being sick. You're not sick again, are you? All right, so the quick play courses are fun, too. I have the 86 season. I probably have 40 quick play courses. Oh, that was for last year. Okay. Um, they are fun, and the quick play game is quite playable. I'm not sure it's streamable, but it's quite playable. Ninety nine. Any reason for that? For a season? All right. I was aggressive. Let's, I can go right at the pin, too. All right. Don't leave it short. There's sand. Really? Wow. It's the first season they have of the Tiger era. Yep. I didn't even put it on the fairway, on the, on the green. Are you kidding? All right. Get that out of your mind. 16 feet. Wow. Two and nine chance. Holy goodness. Oh, now blow it past four feet. Sandy 12 under. An elk to get to 12 under. 
No! I've had too many of these four footers. But it works. All right. You guys are about to get a break. I am four under, though, through nine holes. 40, and 11 putts on the front side. That's a lot better. I had 29 for the round yesterday. All right. We'll have the back nine for you. Wow, right at 1230 in a moment. I wasn't kidding when I was saying the scoring was really, really low. Harry Varden, 9 under today, 16 under. Three shot lead over Ernie Els. Sandy Lyle at 12. Elkington at tied for fourth at 11. I told you, I'm the I'm the weak man of the group. Duvall at, four on, at 11 under. George Archer, who just seems to hang around these tournaments. Bob Charles at 10. Bray, Jamie Anderson, Ian Baker, Finch. Curtis Strange, Old Tom Morris at 9, a whole gaggle of people at 8, Jim Furyk, Nick Faldo, myself, Corey Pavin, Tom Weisskopf, Jamie Donaldson, who did well in the Ryder Cup once, Gay Brewer, Arnold Palmer, Greg Norman, amongst others. The Varden Grip. Harry, D yeah, he's still got, you know, two rounds to go after this, too. All right, to, to the 10th tee. Just trying to figure out how to just to control Tiger. Can do it after everyone in the tournament has played a hole. Oh. All right. Hold on a sec. We'll back out when we go to between the 10th and 11th green, okay? Or 11th tee. That one's an easy one to fix. Lyle first with a three wood. Mr. Howard channeling his inner baseball demos and Todd B. 292, left to right 5, getting 10. Again, 3 wood for me. It's all about putting it in play. All right. You're not a moron. All right, 275. We'll show you. And remember, the Ron Juckett ASG golf cart is only available at onlyduffers.com. Elk with a three wood. So one fifth seventy three. Okay, I'm gain I'm gaining five, so it's one sixty eight. Left to right. Um going to hit this past the pin. Not much I can do, though. In between clubs here, between a 7 and an 8. Eight's too much. Or not! All right. Sandy. Oh. Great dice result. Not a great shot. Elk with an eight. How you doing, Matt? We're taping digital dice as soon as this round is done, by the way. So you get to hear what everyone got for for their Black Friday stuff. Sandy Lyle, 25 feet. Blows it five feet past. Elk, 15 feet. Putting chart one. No. Twenty-eight 
12 feet, 13 to 36. Putting chart one for me. Me and the missus are doing quite well. Thanks for asking. Had a great, she had a great vacation. I got a year older. It was great. How about that? So I'm five under through ten. All right. Time now on my pro golf life to do some basic instruction here. Okay, so you go to groups and you just click on the name you want. So let's say I want to play Ben Crenshaw because haven't she seen enough of Ben on these streams? I go, boom, and it's play. You just click on it once. And, and you can now play him forever. He, as long as you're on that tour, he the default now is that you'd be able to play. Just hit it once. If you want to watch the best putter on tour, you hit it a second time, and it goes right to watch. I should look at the camera, not at the chat. Okay? And to get out of it, just hit it a third time. So you go into the golfer group list and just hit it once. And you're all set. You are Tigers forever as long as you're playing that tour. Year older is never fun at our age, but it beats the alternative. 51. It's not too bad. I'll take it. I'm still here. You're right. So Varden at 17. He leads by five shots. You're welcome. All right. You gotta be careful. Look at the trees overhanging the fairway here. That pin is all the way in the back. It's an easy hole today. I guess we'll go driver. No, not bad at all. So, Ron's a young punk. I got a chuckle out of reading that you, Mr. Howard w majored in table hockey at Western Washington State College. WWSC AM 1450, Glens Falls, Saratoga Springs. Um, it's not what I would have thought you would have, have majored in. Just saying. All right, let's see what tree trouble I'm going to get here. Ah, uh, see, I don't... He got more with a three with than I got with a driver. No, he didn't. Oh, oh, that missed right. You're 48, but you got bifocals about six months ago. You know what? I have. I got to get new glasses. I haven't changed mine in a long time. And here, here's. I'll tell the. Let me see where we are here. I don't need them for the computer, and they reflect everything anyway. So I'm hoping that you know at some point I will obviously need to, but I don't right now. Someone put a newspaper table hockey and philosophy, pretty much the same. Got you a good bartending job, I bet. Um. Someone put a newspaper in front of me a few weeks ago. And, you know, I've heard all along about your arms just get too short. Here's Lyle with an 8-iron. And I knew it would happen to me. My wife has needed trifocals for a few years, and she's younger than I am. So, it, it, so the paper gets put in front of me, and I realize I have to back up to read it. It's the first time. Because I can read the stuff on the computer, and most of the reading I do is on the computer. No, I had to adjust. So, yep, I need readers, but I am 51. So, you, <laughs> Dave says you're the same age and refused to get bifocals. You picked up a 10 pack of reading glasses from Amazon, <laughs> scattered around the home working car. Yeah, the next pair will have to be bifocals. And, Okay, so you're 40. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much all around the same age. 164. That three is not going to be trouble. Losing five, left to right, five. 
Nine iron. Knees are going. You guys get off your yard. Okay. We're taking the goats, though. See, I, my body never was going. It's never been in my favor anyway. That surprisingly went a long way. I've had the sugar since I was 30, so... It hit you a few years ago, but you put off the new glasses for as long as possible. See, I can read, of course, on 32-inch monitors what I've got next to me, what you guys are saying. Helps you get a good par out of that. Oh! Rolled over the hole. All right, take my two putt par. Brook Shields, obviously a name you remember. We're all of that age, and she is of that age. And her body double showed a lot of body double skin when she was not legal yet. You know, considered the sexy hottie of her and Phoebe Cates of the early 1980s. So a couple years ago, I was in the CVS we have in down, downtown. And lo and behold, who is the spokesperson for Foster Grant readers but Brooke Shields? Nice putt, Sandy. How you doing, Bobby? Captain Carl in the house. So it just goes full cycle from, from completely hot girl to doing ads for readers. I guess our generation is just going to refuse to call him Granny or Grandpa Glasses. Elkington makes par. You left front office football for the PC. Did you ever join the form over there? The issue is the font is small and tough to read as I get older, and there is no real way to adjust it. Now, Jim hasn't updated that game in 10 years. Um, it's why I like games that let you increase the te that text size. You can with this one, by the way. You can with... Um, Replay baseball and basketball, too. John says, been wearing corrective lenses for over 40 years. I got glasses at 5. So 1977, I've been doing this. Contact's about 35 years. John, no one is ever sticking a finger in my eye. When my contacts would wear out before I got disposables, they would start getting blurry from essentially dirt. Thought I needed new contacts and found out I needed readers. <laughs> That's a tough way to find out, isn't it? So I have contacts and use readers. Way to go. My glasses are progressive, so I just wear my regular glasses a lot more. I don't really care about my bald spot at this point. By the way, par 4, 430 yards. I'm going to go with a 3-wood. If I let my hair grow, it covers those spots almost nicely. And I've never dyed my hair. Let's see if that's a good shot or not. Matt went to a concert a few weeks ago with your feet right knee and back and back we're not happy for standing with five hours I have a because I don't sit all that much I sat a long time on Thanksgiving and I forgot to I'm usually quite clever if I know I have to sit for you know five or six hour stretch of time to take some Advil before I do it I forgot so I'm squirming all sitting in the chair and stuff like that. Boy, we sound like an ad for Geritol. Five hours, you got your Oh, for the concert? Yeah, who'd you see? The left side of the fair. No, rough. Seven iron for Elk here. Not only coming down the hill. Sandy. Getting five with a nine. That works. 146. Tree trouble if I go too low. 145. We'll just take a pitch and wedge. See if we can knock this close. Come back. Yeah, I've rolled over the hole. I'd say that's close. 78 feet to get to 10. 
Obviously, we're doing golf on Sunday. Oh. All right, eight feet, almost 50 50. Almost 50 50. Almost 50 50. All right, all pars. Go to 13. You've probably never heard of any of them. I still love the death metal of your youth. A lot of the people in this group listen to death metal. Not me. Uh, Amen Amarath, Carcass, Obituary, and Cattle Decapitation. <laughs> Great names. <laughs> Carcass has always been your favorite band. I love it. Someone who, so someone who used to be an undertaker listens to Carcass, Obituary, and Cattle Decapitation. That's funny. Thanks, Bobby. Some of his friends at the bowling at lanes named me Mr. Magoo. I'm nearsighted, but not that bad. When I bowl, I aim for the whitest part of the blur. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah, I'm nearsighted. Uh, all right, two, getting five. Right to left five. We're going to go three wood. This is a pitch and a poke here on 13. They hit it too hard. 105. I was ordering lunch one day back in my 20s, and I didn't have my glasses on. And so I'm at the deli. And to be fair, they had egg rolls a few times there. So I'm looking in the case of what I want. And so I asked for an egg roll. You know, a nice big fat one. And the, the woman, there's no egg roll today. I said, well, what's that in the front of the case? It was a pickle. I think that's on the green. Yep. Yep, with the full wedge. That's in the trees. I got a sand a spinny wedge from 105. Uh, just go right at it. Okay. Seven, eight feet. You get me to ten under. And six under on the day. Oh, elf. How about that? Stay away from the green angles. Yeah, I know, right? That would be a dilly of a pickle. Good shot from Elk. Lyle is 11 feet. Punting chart two. Oh, he blows it six feet past. You know, I'm sure it's always good for someone's confidence to see someone blow a putt just before you putt yourself. 15 and 36. Is that five and nine? I think it's five and nine. I'm at ten. I'm six under through thirteen holes. All right, we go to fourteen. Oh, don't miss right. 193 on the card, playing over par, losing five right to left five. We're going to go right with the seven iron, and I will play to the bailout area. Go right the pin. Mike lived in Hilton Head for three years. You were the academic advisor at a junior golf academy. It paid like grap, but I could golf for free. I, oh, really? So what do you think? I don't think it's Dye's best work. I think that's sawgrass. It's an interesting course. And so you're probably one of the few people wa that understood why I called this the Scotch Guard Open. The plaid on Sundays. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Elk with a six. Goes long. I like this better than sawgrass. How so? Be very curious. I mean, sawgrass was pretty much spec built for, to what the PGA Tour wanted. Sandy with a seven, going right at it. Oh, ho, ho. Elk with a three pointer. No. Six feet. Uh, 13 and 18. It just has more holes you like. 1 and 10 at Sawgrass are bland. However, the last three are tremendous golf. And, yeah, it, the fives really aren't reachable, except for it can reach 11, 16 is. And I'm telling you, I think 18 is a much tougher hole than 17. 18's the one that I fear the most when I play Sawgrass on the computer. And I am 11 under par. Somehow I have pulled myself up and through. You hate nine at Harbor Town. Can't stand the green. That's one of those short ones that you can kind of spin a wedge in. Oh. All right. John says, I remember when I first got contacts, we used to start baseball season practicing in the gym in February. I like to show off my arm and loosen it up. I'd fire the ball widely, a.k.a. nuke la Lelouch, compensating for trying to stretch it out. My coach stopped practice and yelled at me to get my glasses. Had to break it to him that I was wearing contacts. <laughs> Driver here, losing 10 and going right to left 5 on the long... Par 5, 15th, playing today at 561. 18 is a classic hole at Sawgrass. Yeah, it is. It is because there's water all the way down the left side. Oh, my goodness gracious. The whole team lost it. He wasn't happy. That was f That's funny. Okay, I don't know if I can get home from here. But I am on the short grass. The thing with Dye's courses is it really just seems to be everything is risk-reward. And that works at the players. Then again, most people just think of 17. Elk with a driver. We all drove it right. That's a funny story, John. Sandy has to lay up. In fact, I think Sandy had to punch out. Steve's going. No! Ouch. Can I get there? I can get there. Should I go? Yeah, I think I can. Tom Watson is your all is Matt is I'm sorry. Mike or Michael for you, my friend. Tom Watson is your all-time favorite player, and he did really well at Harbor Town. It's the other reason why I like like playing it more than Sawgrass. I think if I was on a tee and someone shot Mike is fine, okay. Someone shot off a cannon behind me when I was trying to swing a tee shot, I would not be the happiest camper in the world. Bucky Dent might slip out of my mouth. All right, we're going for this with a three wood. I don't think that water is in play. Famous last words. How about in? A double eagle! Are you kidding me? A double eagle! I just nailed an albatross. I wish I could show that to you again. No wonder why Jamie wouldn't tell me what happened. Unbelievable! I wish I could show that to you again. If you had given me a bucket of balls from there, I, I, I would have taken 15 feet. Wow! That's, I, I think that's better than a hole-in-one.
I'm not 14 on, I'm not 10 under on the round. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. And you saw it live on Retro Sports Network. Oh my goodness gracious. Someone's going to have to clip that. Okay, Sandy, your turn. I figured at worst it would be in the bunker. Cinderella story coming out of nowhere. Anyway, Mike said there's a Tom Watson room by the clubhouse at Harbor Town. I wonder how m Wow. <laughs> Gardner will be upset that he missed that. A two on a five. That's a shot gain of two and a half. Yep, double eagle two. <laughs> ah, all right, Sandy for par. No. All right, so yeah, so just go in and click, enjoy it, and you can catch the rest of the round later on Twitch or tomorrow on YouTube. I, I won't show you my, um, my, my basketball skills. Dave, I believe, is recording a movie script. Everyone else is going to make par or worse here. I picked up four shots on them on this one hole. Well, let's see where I am in the tournament. I am now tied with Ernie Els. Harry Varden and I are 10 under par for the round. I'm even ahead of George Archer. All right, so in typical Red Sox fan, oh, okay. 16's a good hole, too. I don't know if I like driver here, but we'll go. Well, it's a good thing I got three in the last one. That's in the rough. That's actually not a bad... That's not a great shot. Yep, Bobby. It's... Yeah. I can't imagine... You know, trying to keep your concentration after hitting a shot like that. We talk about the bad things that can happen in golf. Good shot from Lyle. Oh, see, now that hit a tree and gave him a decent iron. Any hole that's a no putt hole is a good hole. Sandy with a spinny. Oh, I got a punch. I'm not sure I can get it out of the bunker. That's all I could do with it. Well, shoot. Stay. Okay. All right. Up and down for par. Not impossible. Elk to get to 12. Yep. Nine feet, five and nine chance. I guess the golf gods are smiling on me today. Nice par. Now this is the hole I crashed yesterday on. 
17. Oh, okay, five yards. I put it water way left. Yeah, Matt, that was a tough one. I had no, If I had hit the punch toward the green, it would have stayed in the sand. I knew I had to get it on the fairway somehow. So getting five. At some point, you just don't want to be greedy. Okay, 189. I'm going eight. You see where I'm playing? I'm just, I, like I said, I doubled from the water yesterday. That works. Nineteen feet, eight and thirty-six, four and eighteen, two and nine. That'd be Jerry Ryan's mother, right? Or grandmother. Nineteen feet. Ooh. All right, I'll take it. Eighteen. Calaboogie sound. So after dunking it on 17, I just took driver and drove Miss Daisy with it and got one of those long drives. Obviously, that big old bump that goes into the sound is where you want to launch from. This is not a three-wood hole, by the way. Losing 10, going right to left five. If you're going to be long, you got to use it. And I think it's too bad that, that Mike is no longer had to go back to work. But, yeah, that's a driver hole all the way. Nice shot. Chance I'm playing with Sandy in the next round. All right, right to left five, losing five. Yep, we're going to go nine. All the way, yep. And you're losing five regardless. That's to get me to 15 under. I did not expect to come in today and shoot a 60 or a 61. Eleven feet for 60. Not bad. 13 and 36. I think I'll take my 61. Roger Maris and I. So as we leave you, 32 and 29, and a 2 on 15. Uh, yeah, easily my best round of date with this with this card. I think I had a 59 once, but not in a long, long time. So yeah, 61. I guess I'm pretty scotch guarded this round. Okay, so wow. Um, nine minus two. Um, 23 putts for the round. All right, so we'll show you the leaderboard as we say goodbye for a Wednesday. I'm three shots out of the lead. Here are my individual stats. When you're 15th in fairways, 22nd in greens, and 37th in putting, and you haven't had to put it, make par out of the sand yet, that's a pretty good 
36 holes of golf. And so with that, I'm Ron Juckett. We'll see you tomorrow for more of our Decade Duels in Baseball. So long, everybody.